heard the rumors. I said, no, that can't be. A Winchester? One of us? But it's true, isn't it? Whatever soul you had, whatever Boy Scout code you cuddled up to at night, it's all gone. Leaving what? Look at you. Where is Crowley? Eat me. One more time. Where is Crowley? Where's my brother? I don't know. And you're gonna call somebody who does. No one knows. They won't answer. Make the call. We're under orders. Make the call. Where's my brother? You really think those are gonna work? One way to find out. Wow, it's really you. We met? Talked on the phone. Right, right, you're the guy who's supposed to put a bullet in Sammy's brain. Did you miss? Well, I had a better idea. I figure if I let your bro escape, he'd go running to you and all I had to do was just tag along. And now here we are, finally, Dean Winchester. Great, a groupie. You remember me? Yeah, yeah, you're that guy from that thing. Nyack, New York, June 21st, 2003. That's supposed to ring a bell? It was the night you gutted and murdered a man by the name of Edward Trenton. He was my father. Okay. Okay? Well, hey, I'm not saying I didn't slice and dice your old man. I'm just saying that he wasn't the first and he certainly wasn't the last. And they all just kind of get blended up. I saw you that night. After you let me live, that was dumb, real dumb. I spent half my life training for this moment. I've played out this fight a thousand times in my mind. And I know all about you, Dino. And you're good. Oh, you're real good. But you see, I'm better. Prove it. Take a shot. Well, that's not payback. This is payback. You know, and I'm just spitballing here, but uh, maybe you are not as good as you think you are. Oh, you know Kung Fu? I know everything. <laughs> well, come on. What did you think was gonna happen, huh? You just stroll up here and say my name is Inigo Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die. And I'd just roll over. Well, that's just, that makes me sad. <laughs>
I'm a demon. Do it! You said if you saw him, you would kill me, so do it! I guess I changed my mind. Stop! It's over! It's over! Dude. Really? For whatever it's worth, I got your blood type. Sam, I know you think you're gonna try and fix me, but did it ever occur to you that maybe I don't want to be fixed? Just let me go live my life. I won't bother you. What do you care? What do I care? Henri Tum Sacrum. You think I'm just gonna sit here like Crowley? Come Sacrum. Can all weep me while you shoot me up? Well, screw that. I don't want this. Yeah, I pretty much figured that out. You don't even know if this is gonna work, do you? You know, I got a hell of a lot more running through me than just demon juice. Mark of Cain, got it. That's right. Buckle up. Sammy, you know I hate shots. I hate demons. Look, we got a whole bunch more of these to go. You can make it a lot easier on yourself. Hey, something I needed to ask you. Sure. You've been kicked, bit, scratched, stabbed, possessed, killed. And you sprained your friggin' elbow? Dude, it was more than a sprain, all right? And it was a friggin' demon, but what? That sling come with a slice of crybaby pie on the side? <laughs> Please. <laughs> How you doing? I'm golden, man. Come on. Seriously, I'm good. I am. You know, we got three more cases of stuff on ice in the trunk. Taking some wee time. The best decision we ever made. Hear that? See a thing in the paper this morning? <sighs> Maybe it was an animal kill. It was three kills, and it was in the same town all within the last month. Yeah, you're right. We should call some guys. Have them fix it. Good. Smart. Done. Or we could be in and out. It's a milk run. Right. Because that happens never. Sam, what we're doing here, it's good, okay? You and me hanging out. But 
I need the work. I need this. If things go sideways, I mean like an inch, you gotta give me the heads up. Done. Got my word. What in the holy? If there is a case, probably has something to do with all this. You think? Okay, publisher? Yeah. Maggie, Marie just never stops. I know. You were great. I, oh my gosh, are, are, are you guys from the publisher? I'm, I'm Marie, this is writer slash director. This is Maeve, my stage manager, and that was just a... Mm. I'm uh, Special Agent Smith. This is my partner, Special Agent. Smith. Smith. No relation. <laughs> We're here to look into the disappearance. There is no singing in Supernatural. Well, this is Marie's interpretation. <laughs> well, I mean, if there was singing, you know, and that's a big if. If there was singing, it would be classic rock. Not this Andrew Floyd Webber crap. Andrew Floyd Webber. What? Well, you know, we do sing a cover of Carry On Wayward Son in the second act. Really? Huh. It's, it's a, a classic. classic. Right, anyways, we're here to talk about the disappearance of Mrs. Chandler. Any chance you two saw her before she vanished? Um, yeah, she left around like, what, 9.30? Any idea where she would be headed that time of night? A bar mm. or a liquor store, both. Wow, really? She had a nasty divorce last year. Most of the time she's sipping on her uh, grown-up juice or passed out, usually in that order. Yeah, well, I don't blame her. I'm gonna need 50 jello shots and a hose down and get this stink off me. <laughs> May, right? You're the stage manager? And I understudy Jody Mills. What? That's great, that's great, Jody Mills, that's great. Uh, so, how about you give me a uh, behind-the-scenes tour while your director shows my partner, Mrs. Chandler's office? Deal? Great. Give us a moment, please. Okay. I'm gonna throw up. I mean, I gotta say, it's kind of charming, the, the production value and the... Uh, no, no, no. <clears throat> I'm gonna check for EMF. You, you look for uh, cursed objects. You guys should keep it. It's a key to the attic. Bobby must have really meant something to Aunt Bunny. How can we repay you? You know what? Just forget we were ever here. <laughs> but you saved our lives. I want everyone to know what heroes Look, are. pal, the fact that we pulled your bacon out of the fire, it's nobody's business, OK? Hey, I'm serious, Izod. Put a pin in it, or we'll come back for your preppy ass. Too ready for some practice? Who is it? Probably the hotel manager, probably here to complain that I haven't paid the bill. You have those spells I gave you? Yeah, about that. I don't read Spanish. It's Latin. Phonetics are on the back, darling. Phonetics. Get ready. And on my word, <laughs> Yo. 
you're in for a world of hurt when we deliver you to our boss. What about us? I'm not going back to that place. Operation Skank has been terminated. The only place you two are going is the dumpster out back. Hunters. Let's get out of here. It's not an exit. Don't worry, ladies. Our beef's not with you. We're here for the witch. Rowena. Oh, it was nice to be recognized. Do something! A spell! That's an excellent idea. Impetus bestiarum. <laughs> what did you do to her? <laughs> you do? What did you do to her? Attack dog spell. We needed a decoy. She'll die. Just like the waiter. Probably. Few humans are built to survive magic like that, and Elle was weak. But you're not. I saw it the second we met. You're strong. You're right. I am. Oh, oh. Oh, did it. Not another word. Lady, your luck has just run out. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Pal, well, we gotta work on your timing. Drop the gun, Dino. All right, she may not look like much, but letting this one go, big mistake. Uh-huh. You heard the boy. He taught us everything. I'm sure it was all kombucha and kumbaya. Liberating was what it was. And then one day, poof, one's gone. So they landed this photo in the paper, stupid. <laughs> For running a police retreat of all things. You didn't just go straight, you became a damn cop. <laughs> now that is wild, man. <laughs> Are you feeling dirty, Lynn? Because we're about to have ourselves a bloodbath. Don't you want to know why I left? I already know why. You got boring. I got a conscience. Oh. Pray that begged for their lives. It was like, even if I used every part like I taught you, it's still wrong. So you walked away? I tried to protect people. After so many years of gutting them. That's why I'm here. I'll join your bloody caravan. If it means you won't kill these people. We aren't killing anyone. You are. You don't have to do this. Kiss my ass. We love you, brother. But we don't know who you are anymore. Can't say we didn't try.
Hakuna Matata, lady. Well, that's what I'm talking about. it up. Where's the girl? Are you okay? Yeah. Noticed every time you respond when the mark gets you all twitchy, you fall deeper under its spell. You think roughing up a few humans and demons makes it worse? Try messing with the scribe of God, Bucko! It's late. I'm gonna drive around a little bit, see if I can find Claire. Right now? I have to try. I'll be careful. Wait, Cass? Where's Dean? And then Kevin's death? All on you. You put him in harm's way and kept him there. Gadriel possessing Sam? Who was it who tricked Sam into letting him in? And then my personal favorite, Dean Winchester, whose entire existence is defined by a war on the dark and monstrous, bromancing his way around the country with the King of Hell! <laughs> Let's try this again. 
What is the next step? What is it you humans say so inelegantly? Oh, yes. Go screw yourself. Dane! Now it's time to get serious. Dane! What is the next step in removing this mark from my arm? Dane, open the door! Hey, open the door! <laughs> what is the next step? <laughs> Move. Behold, the river shall end at the source. No, Dean, hey, stop, stop. You were killing him. I have to take him back. I guess this won't happen again. I gave my word. I have fences to mend in heaven, and as it is, I have a lot to explain. If you ever ask me for help again, I will choose death. Do you realize it's going to get worse, Dean? You're going to get worse! You did it, didn't you? You killed the wizard. I knew it. The magic was in you all the time. Celeste. You got red hair, think for ritzy hotels. How do you know that?
Now you burn! Stay down, boy. Turn him! <laughs> was crazy, like, psycho crazy. And you do this all the time. All the friggin' time. Not all the time. So, can you turn me back? The hex bag went up in flames. I'm so sorry, Tina. We may be able to reverse engineer the spell, though. Or maybe you don't. Come again? I got three ex-husbands, 50 grand in debt, and not much else. I was kind of a crappy adult. Maybe I'll do better this time around. Get out of town, get a fresh start. This is my second chance. Everybody wants a second chance, right? Sure you're gonna be all right? Like I told you, I always am. Can we at least give you a ride somewhere? Give me the keys. Sorry I ever made you leave. God, they're everywhere. Ah, which one of you is Janet Novoselic? I am. Agent Scroll and Cobain. I already talked to the police like nine times. Yeah, no, this is uh, it's just a follow-up. Yeah. I have finals tomorrow. Then we will make it fast. I promise. It's like I told the detective. I was drunk, but I wasn't hallucinating. The truck had a mind of its own. How yeah, so? Like, the air went full blast even though it wasn't on, and the radio went crazy. And so did Trini. And Trini is. <laughs> you have to excuse my partner. When it comes to technology, he's a little behind. Uh, he just learned how to poke on Facebook. I, um... Trini is the nav app we were using. It, it's like a talking map. Here's Gen X, right. Okay, so Trini and everything else in the truck went all Christine. Who's Christine? It's a Gen X thing. Look, I don't expect you to believe me, but I swear that truck was hellbent on killing Billy. Did Billy have any enemies? Anybody who might have had a beef with him? Maybe his brother Joey. They fought all the time. So sad. They never got to set it right. Because Billy died. No. Joey did. In Afghanistan. Do you know where he's buried? He's not. Work, I never came home. 
ID. Did Billy Heaven have anything of his brother's on him when he died? Uh, dog tags, a hat, something. Just his pickup? So the truck belonged to Joey? Yeah. It was his pride and joy. Billy got it when he died, and, you know, it's a thing. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. So, so what's a thing? You know, the truck thing. You honor the deceased by driving their truck, saying they wrote a whole country song about it. Why don't you Google it? What is it, Dean? If you think if you hold back just enough, you won't succumb. That you'll leave this fight the same as you enter? Look to my example, boy! There is no resisting the mark or the blade. There is only remission and relapse! You told me that this day would come. You told me that I would have to kill you. Is that so? I'm afraid you've misunderstood my intentions here, Dean. When your pet angel found my burial site, I thought about ending him, and swatting him like a fly. But then I thought about you. Your biggest weakness? The thing I noticed the moment I met you? Your courage. Your reckless bravado. I let him go, knowing that he would report back to you, knowing you would bring into battle the one thing that can kill me. The one thing I truly want. Oh, it's been too long. That old feeling. Makes me wonder how I ever had the strength to resist. This may be hard to believe in light of what I'm about to do to you. But I care about you, Dean. I truly do. And I know I'm doing you a favor. I'm saving you. Saving me from what? From your fate. Has it never occurred to you? Have you never mused upon the fact that you're living my life in reverse? My story began when I killed my brother, and that's where your story inevitably will end. No. Never. It's called the Mark of Cain for a reason. First, first you'd kill Crowley. There'd be some strange mixed feelings on that one, but you'd have your reason. You'd get it done. No remorse. And then you'd kill the angel Castiel. Now that one. That, I suspect, would hurt something awful. And then, then would come the murder you'd never survive. The one that would finally turn you into as much of a savage as it did me. No. Your brother, Sam. The only thing standing between you and that destiny is this blade. You're welcome, my son. What's the matter? Tell me I don't have to do this. Tell me that you'll stop. Tell me that you can't stop. I will never stop.
enemy pickup. Don't make me pull this trigger. did it. Cole's all right. Get Kid over here as soon as you can. It's too late. Soldier goes crazy, attacks his wife. She had to kill him. Or well, at least that's the story that she's got to tell. I guess I've seen it all now. Some. Not all. I just want to go home, see my family. I want to thank you, Dino. Keeping me standing. Well, all it took was a little blood, sweat, and uh, more sweat. <laughs> you take care of yourself, you hear? All right, I will. But I still hope I don't see the two of you anymore. No offense. None taken. Blame yourself for Kit, man. I can't help it, Dean. It feels crappy. I know it does. I tried. I did. I tried. I just... I couldn't save this one. You know, you can do everything right. And even still, sometimes... The guy still dies. Yes? How are you, Father? Pardon me? Or knew, I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> Just, <it's clears throat> so, uh, I'm here to, here to clean house. I need to get some things off my chest. Huh? All right. Continue. Um, it's the women, Father. Where do I begin? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned as usual. Right. Good. Yeah, so, that, and, um, so the women. Uh, and this is not something that I'm proud of, but I let them think that we have more of a future than we do. You know? Uh, Gina. G 
Gina. Oh, now don't get me wrong. I mean, she was, it was good times. I mean, you know how it is, the sex, the lasagna, but I was not honest with her. Uh, sometimes I was seeing two, maybe three girls at the same time, sometimes in the same day. <laughs> you get the picture. And it wasn't just Gina, it was endless. It's making me sick. And you wish to be forgiven, my son? I do, I need to clean up my act. As penance, you shall say five Hail Marys to our fathers and reflect on your transgression. And then that's it, then I'm good to go? One would hope some inner exploration might occur. The prayers are just the beginning to some serious soul searching. Is there anything else on your mind, Agent Allman? What have I said? I, I didn't want to die. Yet. You know, that I wasn't ready. Are you expecting to? Always. You know, the life I live, the work I do. I pretty much just figured that that was all there was to me, you know. Tear around and jam the key in the ignition and haul ass until I ran out of gas. I guess I just thought sooner or later I'd go out the same way that I live, pedal to the metal, and that would be it. But now? Now, um, recent events uh, make me think I might be closer to that than I really thought. And I don't know, I mean, it's, you know, it's, there's things, there's uh, people, feelings that I, I, I want to experience differently than I have before, or maybe even for the first time. Go a little deeper, perhaps, than with Gina. Yeah. yeah, I'm just starting to think that maybe there's more to it all than I thought. Learning that there's more to the universe than your tiny world can be a frightening discovery. Do you truly believe in God, Agent? Because that can be a comfort. I believe there is a God. But I am not sure he still believes in us. right out of the Winchester playbook, ain't it? Dean has given up. And you idiots haven't. Would you? Hell no. Look, I'm not saying that I didn't want to slice and dice the witch. I'm just saying that that's not how it went down. So she's a liar. Must run in the family. Mother says... That mark is just a curse. Can be removed. Of course, she doesn't know how. Figures. But I'm good, thanks. Who's the liar now? She says I've gone soft. <laughs> you have. What? Yeah, maybe it's all the human blood that Sammy pumped into you, you know? Maybe it's, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know, but the old Crowley, he would have come in here with hellhounds and demons, and he would have blown the roof off the joint. Now, you didn't want to fight. You wanted to talk. And maybe I've changed, too. Here I am playing Dr. Phil to the king of hell. <laughs> Never saw that coming. Maybe we're getting old. <laughs> Never saw that coming, either. What is it, huh? Why are you let Mommy Dearest tie in the knots? Because we're family. We're blood. That's well, not the same thing. A wise man once told me, family don't end in blood. But it doesn't start there either. Family cares about you, not what you can do for them. Family's there through the good, bad, all of it. They got your back, even when it hurts. That's family. That sound like your mother? Mark is a curse. Yeah, tell me about it. No, Sam, it's, uh, it's an actual curse. What are you talking about? Crowley told me, or rather Rowena told him after she tried and failed to kill me. What the hell happened? The Mark protected me. Rowena doesn't really have beef with me. She was pissed at Crowley because she thinks he's going soft. She's not wrong. Yeah, well, after he and Mommy Dearest got into a fight. Mommy Dearest? Rowena is Crowley's mother. More about that later. So, then he came and told me what she had said. The mark is an actual curse. So anyway, I'm sorry. I probably should have told you that. Yeah. This little backup plan of yours, I know you've been thinking about it for a time. I know it's been gnawing at you. Can't leave that job to them. You're right. Out there, you're sleeping. You make the right choice in here. You'll sleep forever. And you won't ever hurt anyone ever again. No one needs to know, Dean. What happens in purgatory? Stays in purgatory. How do you know this will work? I don't. It's a good a place of any call it a day, huh? Slow down. Right. No, no, no. It wants more, Sam. It wants it all. The codex. Path to the cure. It's in there. If it wants more, it'll get more. Uh. 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 
I'd do it. If I really had to, I would. But the real Benny would never let me. We already covered that, Chief. It's not me. You know what else won't let me? This thing on my arm. For better or worse, the mark, it wants me alive. Holloway is a Grigori. Grigori? Yes. No. They were some of the first angels on Earth. It was an elite unit that went bad, but they're they're extinct. They were destroyed. Well, no, some survived. And they've been hunting humans, making them create heavens in their minds and feeding off them. Where is this abomination? I don't know. I looked everywhere. He must have left. Saints represent groups of letters that represent numbers. Stand for concepts represented by... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that might be a genius. I know you're in here, Miss Asimov. You have it. I want it. And believe it, you got Charlie involved with this again, and now she's missing? Charlie, where are you? Um, uh, a motel, the, the, the Blackbird. Sam, someone is here. They, they think I have the book. If you have the book, give it to them. Charlie has the damn book of the damn? No, I don't have it. I just, I, I just, I have my notes. Then give them your notes, Charlie. Give them the code, whatever they want. Charlie, I don't know what the hell is going on, but you need to listen to me. Give whoever that is whatever they want. You understand? Charlie! I can't do that, Dean. right to my face. I thought it was our only chance to get you free of the mark, so I grabbed it. You made it real clear how I felt. You ever consider that? Dean, listen. And then you pulled Cassie. And Charlie. Charlie loves you, Dean. We all love you. You're gonna give me what's mine. Mine and my family.
<laughs> Charlie? Working with my mother. You insane. You actually trust her? Of course not. Not even a little. And why? What has she got over you? Will you just die already? <sighs> that's what I get. What? I said. That's what I get for trying to be the good guy. Wait a second. So you're the good guy? Do you have any idea what I've been at for the past year? The changes I made to hell! Am I supposed to be impressed by that? Yes! <coughs> I thought... If I did... Better... I might actually feel something again. That it might matter. It doesn't matter. <coughs> you know, maybe everybody else forgot about all the bad you've done, but I haven't. I have watched you kill people, Crowley, innocent people. People I cared about, people I loved. <coughs> so yeah, you, you have the accent and the, and the suit and the snark, but at the end of it, you are a monster, just like all the rest of them. And I'm gonna watch you die, screaming, just like all the rest of them. You're right. I am a monster. Hmm. And I've done bad. I've done things you can't even imagine. Horrible, evil, messy things. loved every damn minute. So thank you, Sam, for reminding me who I really am. Magic. Might have worked on any other demon, but me? Please. I could kill you. Snap my finger. Easiest thing in the world. From here on, I want you to know that the only reason you're alive is because I allowed it. And I want you to deliver a message. You tell that ginger whore that I gave her a chance to walk away and she spat in my face. So now, She'll never see me coming. You'll never, ever 
hear me say that you, the real you, is anything but good. But you're right. Before you hurt anyone else, you have to be stopped at any cost. I understand. Do it. <clears throat> Please. Do me the honor. Sam, close your eyes. Wait. Take these. And one day, when you find your way back, let these be your guide. They can help you remember what it was to be good. What it was to love. Family, you must proceed, Dean. To be what you are, to become what you've become, is a stain on their memory. Do it. Or I will. Forgive me. That's awesome. You're awesome.